And you are still watching Business Daily coming to you live on Trust TV. And joining me now to appraise the performance of the Naira, we have seen tremendous growth happen within the market. The fourth consecutive gains in the fourth uh, week. I am joined now by the Chief Economist at SPM uh, Professionals, Paul Alaji. Thank you for joining us on the program, Mr. Paul. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Hid Mubarak. Thank you very much. Uh, we have seen the Naira gain momentum over the greenback recently, making this the fourth uh, weekly gains that has been uh, reported. But what do you make of this and the amplified confidence in the Naira lately? We've seen the effort of the central bank to intervene back into the market. Recall that uh, 15th of June, central bank have said it was going to hands off the support it was giving to Naira at various markets. As a result, Naira jumped from 800 to the peak at the highest point uh, towards the end of February 2024 to 1,900. Soon, Central Bank realized that it's important to support the Naira because it's going to be practically impossible for us to say Naira should compete with the dollar because apart from the Central Bank of Nigeria, there's virtually no other international vote where Naira is kept. With the new support and the strategy that was adopted, by the Central Bank of Nigeria, by first allowing the price to surpass what is obtainable in the parallel market, then call back the BDCs and start dictating the price, especially at the uh, export-import window, at the custom window, and, uh, and most importantly, how much BDC must sell. These three major parameters perhaps are responsible for what you have seen. What we have done is to technically get involved in the market. Because there's no way for a developing country who will say we will not intervene in the market. It's practically impossible. That was the position we have maintained over time. Now that the central bank have taken a new turn, we are beginning to see a positive re result of what Naira to the dollar will be. So this is a good development. It should be encouraged. And I've also advised both in the media space, public space, I mean public space and private places, that those who are holding the dollar should exist from doing such. This is because it will not even be a gain to them in the long run. It will amount to further crisis to our, cor our local currency, and it will also amount to a major pressure on inflationary figures. Okay, you have touched on the, you know, very hawkish policies that we have seen coming from the Central uh, Bank of Nigeria towards stabilizing the Naira. But I'd like for us to speak around the sustainability of all of this. Do you, um, are these policies entrenched to sustain the rallying of the Naira in the long run? Well, this policy will be useful for us in the immediate term. And I mean, in the short term, you have seen it in one month. We need to walk the line up to the next 24 months. The best this policy has worked is 12 to 24 months. Mr. Imefele seems to have broken the record when he was able to sustain it for three years. After 24 months, on the average, we are expected to start seeing a lot of concerns again. What does it mean? For those who are speculating, the party is over. What we need to do as government is how do we boost exports? And we have started seeing government muting the idea of uh, boosting exports using Continental Free Trade Day Area Agreement so that Nigeria can sell to what it has, export it to the rest of Africa. My question, however, to that is, my favorite book said, Companion of Fools Shall Be Destroyed. What do we have that is not available in South Africa, that is not available in Egypt, that is not available in Tunisia, that is not available in the rest of Africa, including Kenya, and uh, most importantly, Tanzania? What do we have? We don't have electricity, which of course is the backbone of manufacturing. The president and his team, and most importantly, the Minister of Trade and Investment, must, have, must find a way to partner with the power sector. Recall that recently, the power sector, the, the Minister of Power had mentioned that the cost of energy has increased by over 200% to ban A customers. The question is, if the cost increase, as the performance of the sector improves, do we now have power supply for industries, for us to manufacture, then go into export. The truth is, if we export sufficiently, and we also have import substitution, Naira could have improved as high as 300 to a dollar or 299 to a dollar. But if you abandon this, this policy can only be sustainable up to 24 calendar months. And if we see another outlier, like we saw under Emefili, maybe 36 months. After that, 
forces of demand and supply will overpower the intervention of government because of course what government is doing over a, over a billion dollars have already been gone into the interventionist policy of the central bank which is itself is not as a permanent solution but it can give us a short-term solution because i don't support full uh, exoneration or by the central bank of nigeria but central bank does not print dollar how do we export how do we reduce our volume of consumption it by cost producing locally and when we produce locally we export the rest or we look for a natural resource which of course have been stolen scattered away on private jets out of our country we can therefore um export some of the things we have in excess and also promote import substitution as a matter of fact and the two can be done together perhaps one after the other Okay, I'd like for us to speak to issues around, you know, the prospects of the Naira, say, um, in the for the year 2024. Uh, we understand that uh, our 2024 budget is largely reliant on oil revenue. However, we have seen, you know, cuts down in, you know, OPEC oil production in the month of March. So I'd ask for you, we haven't yet seen data come for the month of April, but I'd like to hear from you, what in your point of view is the outlook for the Naira, say, for the year 2024? Whatever happens to the uh, the central bank foreign reserve will tell a lot about the faith and the expectation of Naira. If you are not earning enough, Naira may lose that again. Except and unless central bank wants to go beyond the critical level of of uh, volume of what must be in the reserve, if the central bank is willing to risk it, then you can see further intervention in the in the market, especially the parallel market. They are a new window and what is payable to custom in dollar terms. If the central bank is willing to risk it, we are going to see that. Other than that, what we may likely see is a static point of some sort. Recall that central bank has been able to force the hands of dollar down to 1,100. Remember that as at the time the policy was made, it was around 788, 789 or 800 at the most. So perhaps that is where central bank wants to take it to. And even at that time, there was complaint among Nigerians that the exchange rate at the parallel market was just too much. But we must commend the effort. So to answer your, your question straight, um, with the effort being put in place, where do I uh, where do I where do I see denial? I must tell you with the effort and what is happening, the OPEC reduction, the ongoing um stealing of Nigerian crude within the Niger Delta region, it means Nigeria we have less in revenue, FX revenue, which of course accounts for over 80% of our foreign inflows, when foreign inflows, that's FX, that's foreign currency, then it means central bank may have less to play with in terms of even its ongoing defense for the Naira and protection of the Naira. So that it will be less. But that is less does not mean we don't have anything in the in the vote. So my the, the, the question, central bank, which central bank will ask is there's a critical point where you have to keep your reserve. If they are willing to go below that as a result of reduction in Households, they are, as a result of reduction in sales, as a result of reduction in quota, then we can say that we might still be able to protect. But if not, central bank may technically answer, not because it does not want to protect, but because it does not have enough to protect the Naira. And this is where I want to task, task say, the central bank and security agencies protecting the pipelines and within evil people of our pipeline, those who are still in our crew, especially within the net. Niger, I mean, Niger Delta region is not just because it's an assignment that is given. It has implication on the price of rice. It has implication on the price of diesel. It has implication on the price of Gary. And let me shock you. It has implication on the price of corn that we buy, roasted corn by the roadside, or suya that we buy on the roadside, by the roadside rather. Okay, you have, you know, raised issues around, you know, reduction in oil output, oil production and all of those. And, you know, measures towards addressing it, ensuring that our pipes are protected. But I'd like to hear from you. I mean, from all you have said, you've mentioned quite a number of measures. But I'd like to, for you to speak specifically to two major low-hanging fruit measures that if... If you are being listened to now, that should be used towards addressing, you know, the issue of vandalization of our pipelines, oil theft and the likes. Well, for me, regarding our security, we need to make example. Those who have been caught just last week, the security agencies caught some individuals who have connected to the national maze um, and diverting the crude. What becomes, what comes after that? Nothing. 
Government might have done a lot, but the citizens are not seeing government efforts. What example, what punishment, what reward are we giving to those who are vandalizing, who are kidnapping, who are carrying out bandage activity? We don't know. We don't know. So if you have an example, because when I was much younger, in the early 80s, when somebody is still in the community, the military who were in government that time, we make those people, they, they, they will make an open show of them. And by 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., when TV starts running, we will see it on television that the person that stole or the person that robbed a particular bank or a house, this is the fact. All parents will tell their children, don't rob. If you do, this is going to become an example of you. But I really don't know the policy Nigeria adopted. I don't know the treaty we signed. All of those are normal in place. You see people speaking for criminals and armed robbers. Speaking their phones. Speaking for them. It makes the work of um, traditional I mean, security agencies really very difficult. So this is where President Tinubu, and indeed some state governments, must take responsibility to say if it is good, if it is fair to all, it's a decision that must be made. So for me, we need an example to go on. And we must also allow judiciary to be independent without influence. So if we do that and we give example to those, then people who are protecting our military men, enough motivation, promotion. Let them see that this is, this is like, it, it, when you go to confront these vandals and you go to confront kidnappers and anything that signals security to Nigeria, you are not the only one going. There are 220 million other Nigerians that are with you. You may not see them physically, but when you win, they celebrate you. If you lose or you lose your life in the process, we would appreciate you. And we must not just make it word of mouth, but something that is implementable that we can encourage those who are doing it, pass for us as a nation. Paul Alaje, who is the chief economist at SPM Professionals, and he has spoken extensively on how we can sustain the increased gains that has been witnessed in the Naira lately. Thank you again for your insight on the program. Thank you so much for having me. Well, this is where we draw the curtains on today's edition of Business Daily, coming to you live on Trust TV, where we bring you up to speed with trends in the Nigerian business space as well as happenings across the globe. My name is Chiamaka Nendo. Right now, join the conversation and let us hear your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the increased rallying that has been witnessed in within the, within the Nigerian uh, 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 currency, that is the Naira? Uh, bye for now and uh, have a lovely day.